you know, an Echo 310 here. Um, did a little bit of uh, port work to it. I uh, haven't really seen anything on uh, YouTube about this, so I figured I would eh, just kind of show you what I did. Um, not sure if you'll be able to check that out, but you can see it's got peculiar transfers that don't match on each side. So, in that regard, all I did was I tried to match it, but I, I missed on the one side. But it just made them, I ended up. Uh, just kind of scribing, I think it was 80 or 100 thousandths line, just kind of scribed a line around it and tried to keep within that. Just give it a little bit more open down there in the bottom. And the same thing with the piston down here. I just made a slight notch in the bottom just so uh, when it is getting down low there on the stroke, at bottom dead center, it'll pull up a little more air. That's like your original. Um, if you, if you can notice in there, I don't know if uh, it'll pick up, but here's your intake over here. You can actually see, hopefully you can see it in there. You can actually see that straight on here, the exhaust port is off on an angle. And the same thing applies to the transfers. They're actually quite odd in that they're twisted in the bore. Um, so I think maintaining those angles or those shapes, I should say that they have up here, these peculiar shapes, oops, sorry, I'm washing it out, that they have here is probably relatively important. Otherwise you're going to get some odd characteristics and flow. Um, I gave it a little bit more duration for the intake. Didn't really mess with it too much. Uh, I can get into numbers later. Um, I did widen the exhaust a wee bit. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna, oh, sorry, that's the intake, but I don't know how much of that you're gonna be able to see. Actually kind of did, there we go. So not much wider really, I just gave it a little more duration. That's all I did on the exhaust. This one I was a practice because it was, crap anyway but I did widen it a bit you can see where it's a little bit lighter around the edges there and this one I did the same thing I just widened it a bit and gave it a bit more duration not much really um, I did go into the transfers over on the intake side the very rear ones and I don't know if you can I used uh, just an odd bit and just kind of stuck it in there I don't have an, a 90 degree so I just kind of opened it up a bit and I purposefully gave it, a, I, I took about two degrees off the exhaust roof and I kind of put that back there. I think I probably put four degrees total, but um, I can get into that in a moment. But um, if you look there, maybe, I don't know if you can see it, but you know, hold on, let me whip it around here. That's kind of stock. And then you can see it's just slightly longer and a little bit larger because I did I did go into it and grind in a little bit um, just to give it. I wanted to get back whatever blowdown was there. And shame on me, but I used a really thin piece of baleen wire. It's all head lying around. In fact, I think there's this piece of junk right here. I couldn't keep that straight to save my life. So my initial stock numbers and my first porting numbers, I'm like, ah, I don't even know if they're right, but uh, I'll go over what I pulled in, I ended up using a piece of copper later, some 12 gauge, and it worked a little better, but um, squish it always, it's 35, it is what it is. Um, initially, I got an intake of 66, um, and then uh, I checked it again with that cheap baleen wire, and I got 72, so we're looking at about six degrees, well, about 12 degrees total um, duration addition to it. But then when I checked it with something a little bit more solid, I ended up with a 71 intake over 66. I imagine it was probably within a couple degrees of that. The exhaust roof stock, uh, the best I could get was about 112 um, with the cheap baling wear, but I'm at 110 and I did take some off. So I'm gonna say that's probably, two degrees is probably pretty accurate. Um, my initial blowdown check was 17 degrees on this one. And now I'm at 19. And these, these transfers are a little difficult to see and eh, I'm lazy, but I, I didn't even, this was an eBay cylinder, the one that I got, and I it had so much goopy oil and carbon crap all over it that 
I probably wasn't all that accurate checking the transfers, but clean the piston off. And, and where it stands now is it's probably, I'd probably put four degrees on it, you know, based on what the roof of the exhaust was. So yeah, I would say these numbers are probably pretty, the original time I timed it was probably pretty accurate. Um, so uh, that's pretty much, that's it. So that's what I did. I've, I've never seen anything online about this really, because honestly it's, I don't even know, I'll find out. I mean, this one even has some pitting up in the, on the exhaust side, way up in the chamber there, but with a 35,000 squish and such a long piston land there, I don't think it's gonna get much of it. So, and there's no marks on the original ring, so I think it'll be fine. So anyway, that's that. Uh, if you wanna dig into one of these, just keep in mind, you have to pull everything apart on these. It's it's not like you're just gonna, I mean, you're pretty much down to a bare, bare saw when you do these ones. So uh, that's that. Thanks.